Mills on the MIC. The word today is job. J O B. Jamming on the J O B. My Kiss 1031. It's today's RB and Throwbacks. My Kiss 1031. Mills on the MIC. Jamming on the J O B with you. Got a very special guest on the phone line with me checking in. Award winning journalist and also TV host and also host of his own digital daily program right now. Roland Martin Unfiltered. You know him well, ladies and gentlemen. Roland Martin checking in with us. How are you this morning, brother? I'm doing great. Doing great. Uh, got to talk about the Bill Cosby case, of course, the talk of the nation. Uh, can you update us on what is the latest on that story after his sentencing uh, yesterday? Well, Bill Cosby uh, has been uh, moved to a uh, one of the newest state prison in uh, Philadelphia, uh, excuse me, in Pennsylvania. Uh, last night he was at the Montgomery uh, uh, County Jail, uh, but uh, because Bill, Bill Cosby is blind, uh, they could not uh, handle him for it, could not accommodate him. Mm-hmm. And so uh, they needed him uh, to be moved to that facility. Uh, of course, his defense team, they uh, immediately uh, are filing appeals. Uh, that takes uh, some time, obviously. Uh, and uh, that's what uh, that's what's going on uh, there. But uh, you know, you know, barring barring those appeals, and if they are rejected, uh, Bill Cosby will spend at least the next three years in a state prison there in Pennsylvania before he's eligible for parole. Uh, and that's one of the next questions I was going to ask. Do you believe that he's going to serve all that time, but at the entire sentence, or do you think uh, he'll be able to get out in those three years? No, he can't. He can't get in those three years, and so he will serve a minimum of three years. The only way he's able to get out if he is pardoned. Uh, or if he uh, is granted uh, uh, an early release uh, for hardship based upon health, uh, but uh, that, that that's exactly the status of uh, of where he is in terms of um, in terms of his uh, in terms of his his incarceration. Uh, the judge sentenced him three to ten years, which means that uh, he could serve as little as three, uh, as much as ten. It will be up to the parole board. Remember, he is being deemed a violent sexual predator by the judge. Mm. Uh, So uh, his legal team, again, is hoping they're able to uh, overturn uh, that uh, decision. But, uh, but, but he, 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 right. Bill Cosby, um, as of right now is in prison. Okay. Uh, And and what are your personal thoughts? Because this is uh, a a lot of us here in black America are, are still in kind of reeling in shock over this story. Uh, what, what is your personal thoughts on this? Well, I think you have, I think you have to look at this uh, in, in multiple ways. I mean, yes, people are, are absolutely shocked and stunned uh, that uh, Bill Cosby is in prison. You, you talk about a significant uh, fall from grace as a result. Uh, somebody who was a, uh, a, a pioneer um, in Hollywood, in television, uh, but now, of course, ahead of the prison, uh, the charges uh, that he's in prison for are are serious charges. And there are folks uh, who, uh, there are the women who uh, made the uh, allegations against him, uh, talked yesterday even about uh, how they um, uh, felt vindicated by this. Um, you know, 60-plus allegations. Uh, you have a third of those women are African-American. But remember, those were the allegations. He was only convicted in the Andrea Constant uh, case, and even in that particular case, you have uh, uh, those who believe that uh, it was it was it was really you know he said she said in that uh, they uh, in that um, you know you did not have physical evidence. Uh, you had really that deposition that was given, uh, that testimony uh, that was given uh, that uh, that that really stood out, and so uh, that's really where that is, and so it, it's it, it is hard for so many people to really think to, to, to go just wait a minute that, that, that wow this thing actually happened and, and and it and it did and so um you know again when you talk about that fall from grace when you talk about um all the all the good whether it was hbcus whether it was um whether it was um uh i mean i could just go down the line over and over and over again what it was and and you're left with uh, what it is now, and so that that is very difficult for a lot of people to take. But um, this this is also one of those things that uh, that when you put your when your life is at, at in the mercy of the courts, mm-hmm. um, this is what you are going to deal with. This is what you're going to face, and so uh, that's the lesson for anybody. And again, for for the women who have accused him, uh, they say this has been long overdue. 
I understand that most definitely. Uh, Roland Martin on the phone line with me and also Roland Martin Unfiltered, the new digital daily show that you're doing every day. I see you all over Twitter, Facebook, and everywhere now, brother. Go ahead and tell the folks about it if they ain't hip to it yet. Sure. Well, we launched uh, the digital show uh, three weeks ago. We've uh, generated about 4.5 4.5 million views. Uh, we live stream the show every day on Facebook, Periscope, YouTube, uh, and so they can check it out at 6 p.m. Eastern, but we also restream it at uh, 10 p.m., 2 a.m., 6 a.m., and 10 a.m., so four more times, and then it's also available on VOD, so if you missed it, you can literally go to YouTube, uh, Periscope, or um, Facebook and watch uh, those uh, shows uh, last night, uh, yeah, last night's show right now. You can also get, of course, our uh, podcast. We have an audio podcast and a video podcast. Both of those are both of those are available on Google Play as well as on iTunes as well. And so, it, it really is an opportunity for us to be able to, uh, you know, do what I did with News One now for four years, and of course before that, Washington Watch, which was which was a Sunday morning show on TV One, allowing us to be able uh, to. Uh, to tell our story, control our story, and that's really what it what it boils down to. And so, I think a lot of times what happens is, you know, th things are happening. So, you know, we, you know, I don't want to be in a position where we are asking somebody else to tell our story. Mm -hmm. I want us, I want us to be in control of our narrative and being able to tell our story the way we want it to be told. Absolutely. Roland Martin Unfiltered. Check it out. It's all over all over digital platforms, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Periscope on Twitter and everywhere else. And uh, I appreciate you giving us some of your time, to, uh, brother, for helping us give some perspective on this Bill Cosby sure. story, because a, a lot of people are just uh, I'm seeing a lot of debate on social media. A lot of people are arguing back and forth. Uh, uh, and just to give us some perspective, much needed perspective is much needed right now. So thank you so much. And we'll be checking for Roland Martin Unfiltered all over digital platforms, go. all over uh, the Internet. Internet, all right, appreciate you, brother. Thank I you so much it. for your Thanks time. Today's R&B and throwbacks. My kiss, one zero three one.